some point, depending on, on, a, on some things here, you might have to make a real hard decision between your wife and your family and yourself and your life and your old friend, Wes Hermantine. There's no hard decision there at all. Okay, and... I've already told you that. I mean, my family is more important than anything in the world to me. Right. But I also sense in That's you, is, Lauren, yeah. that, that, you're, that you're a good friend and that unless we hold your fins to the fire, you're not going to give up, Wes, unless you're absolutely forced to. Give him up what? I mean... Well, I've already told you the what. The what this bothering us that we have a young woman who was seen no, talking with you guys and we have a chunk of time that's unaccounted for. I mean, I, you're not an intelligent, Lauren. You you can see, you know what this what our problem what the problem is. Well yeah, I can understand that. But like you said, you got other people that said the same thing I said about when after the bar. Witnesses tell us that you, Cindy and Wes are huddled up at the end of that bar. I don't remember being in any home with anybody. All right, but you guys are talking for not just a minute, not just a couple of minutes, but for an extended that, period of time. That's I can't I can't recall that. I mean, I can't picture that at all. All three of us might have been talking at one time, but I can't see that at the end of the bar. I mean, that just wasn't there. What do you think happened to Cindy, Warren? I really don't know. I thought about it, I don't know. I mean, I assume that even though you and Christine have had your ups and downs, she was the mother of your children, I assume. Yeah. And she's, for by all appearances, a, a, keeps a good home for you and takes good care of your kids. Of okay. What if it were Christine that we were talking about oh, tonight? <laughs> I've heard you said that before, and I was like, hey. I know this isn't Christine we're talking about. I don't know what I mean. But your mom and dad, I know how your mom would feel. I've, I've, I've yeah, I know they're, uh, must they're, they're devastated. Yeah. They I, are inconsolable. I, mean, I try to think about it because I would be like, I would get in there with them. Yeah, I do that. And it never goes away. I know. I've lost a lot of so people. So they pretty much know that we're only going to find a body. They pretty much know that by now. I mean, that's a hard way to think. Or, yeah, but you know what? And you got to think positive. No, there's no thinking positive about this. So the, the relationship between Cindy and her family was so close that there's no way that she's not that she's voluntarily gone. Okay, and they pretty much resigned themselves to the fact that that all they're looking for now is her body, but you know what? They need that. Because without that Yeah, they give up without give that, can you imagine not, not knowing the not knowing where she is yeah, is terrible. harder than knowing because they already know that she's not coming home. But can you imagine Christine disappearing and not knowing I where I'd really go home and sit here and think that way but you know that's sad. Anything um, happen or is why knowing. Do I sit here and think this way that's sad. Well why are you putting it there? Because, Lauren, my job doesn't come with a crystal ball. Well, sure, and well. somebody that we have talked to since we started this investigation, we have we've stumbled across lies, and we don't know why the lies. The lies are for two reasons. Because the person that's telling the lie knows that they've had something to do with Cindy's disappearance, and they're afraid, or they're guilty. Or there's another. People lie for all kinds of reasons. And, and I don't, I don't know, why. know why they lie. I don't know either. Wes is lying, and I don't know why. Is it because he had something to do with Cindy's disappearance, and he knows that, or is there some other reason? I don't. Know. But do you see? I, I'm, I'm not asking you, Lauren. I'm just I, saying. I know. You ask me why am I putting it through this? I know. It's just. I want to find Cindy and put her parents. It's agony to even be around them. If it come right down to push and shove, would if, would Wes choose? If Wes needed to cover himself. He'd give you up in a heartbeat. You know he would. The likes of Freddie and him, are they going to cover for you? Never. Are they going to cover for me? Huh? <laughs> it's funny. Are they going to cover for me? All right. <laughs> I don't know what they'd be covering me for. Well, you, you grew up with Wes, and you've known the good. There is good about him, but there is bad about him, too. I've, I've met him on both sides. I've, seen him, in, people, I've right. seen him in both. That's true. But some folks have got some pretty bad. But their bad side is pretty, pretty.
that. I, I just finished the report from Calaveras County on that gal that he got hooked up with back last year. Yeah, I didn't want to know about it. I heard something about it. I didn't want to know more about that. He gets pretty wild when he's when he's doing drugs or when he's cranking and when he's drinking, doesn't he? He gets just, pretty wild, yeah. doesn't he? I don't know. Wild enough, I'd say. You ever think that Wes would be capable of forcing a girl to have sex with him? some point, um, in order again to further eliminate you, we would probably ask you for a blood sample and hair hair standard samples. Would you be willing to do that? To further eliminate you from what's going on. I'm you just keep sucking me in more and more. What? No, no, no. Not not really. Really. Feel. This is a problem. That's the way I'm feeling. Okay, but remember this. You're not the only one who's done this. This is you're like the fifth or sixth person, and we always ask them. This is what we call a process of elimination. Well, that's what they started out. Yeah, but do you understand? Right. How, I mean, what would you have to worry about? Nothing. Your sample's not going to be there, and your and nothing of your biological fluids is going to be there, right? Right. It's going to be anywhere. Pardon Nowhere. Me? Right. What? Right. And but see, we won't know that unless we took those samples and compared them to the samples that we find. Right. Got it. Is that right? Right. But okay. And the other thing I'm going to ask you is that at some point, if if it's necessary, and that's why I'm asking you now, or we'd be doing it now, would you be willing to either take a polygraph or a truth verification test that verifies that you do not, in fact, know anything about the disappearance of Cindy Vanderheiden? Because yeah, what would the results of that test be? When asked that question, what would the results be? Do you know anything? Oh, about the whereabouts? No. About the dis bouncing right now. About her disappearance. Okay. Do you know anything about the disappearance of Cindy Vanner right now? Okay. Do you know? Do you suspect that anyone is is involved in her disappearance? Is there anyone that you suspect is involved in the disappearance of Cindy Vanner? I don't know. I, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to be suspecting anything. Well, if it was Christine, you'd be certainly thinking about people that are around you and who who might have been responsible for that. We're asking you, is there anybody that you suspect that's more likely to have something to do with Cindy's disappearance than not? I the last scene. Okay. Anybody else? Can we take you back home? Please. <laughs> Please. There's a lot of things in this investigation that we have come to understand through statements and through physical evidence that we feel that there's more than sufficient um, enough cause to be able to arrest you. We could arrest you right now. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, that's not a pretend statement. That's not a phony statement. The thing is, is, is that the district attorney has asked us to go ahead and, and, and wait until all the results of the blood that was recovered in West Shermantine's car to be totally analyzed. And we're abiding by that at this point in time because it was recommended. Okay? Cindy's been missing for Cindy Banneret has been missing for quite quite some time. And you've spoken with Detective Shuffle, you've spoken with a few other people and have provided several different statements. Some of which we know to be true and some of it we know not to be true. She might want to go back to her car. She said that several times, you know. Where's where going that way? I was still in the backseat to say something to the rope going. This isn't good. Yeah. Well, he started telling her to do stuff, you know, and it's kind of a back and forth argument kind of thing. And I can either do stuff as in. Uh, sexual acts, I guess, is what you thought. I mean, he's getting wilder and wilder and wound up more and more. I, I told him at one point, West, don't kill her, man. Take her back to her car. When I got out of the car, I, I started backing up. You know, I, 
He kind of looked at me one time and I was going, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. 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 It's, it's hard to explain. Mm -hmm. I don't want to remember, you know what I mean? But he was, you know, <clears throat> on top of me, but I hold him down, you know? And I guess it must be towards the end, I can remember. He says he's like the natural. <sighs> I mean, This is a giant, you know. That's what he told us. Said it come here. That's what he told her. Yeah. What happened, one? He kind of started going around and he opened his trunk. He started trying to get me to do this and that and I wouldn't do it. I told him, no way. He took the blanket out of his trunk and wrapped her up and put her in the trunk. I almost don't even know where I was. I mean, I know I was there, but my mind was just gone. I was just in there comatose, it felt like. I wanted to look bad and I couldn't believe what I was the scenario that you just told us, is that the truth? Is that Yeah. Is that what actually happened? Yeah. That's what happened. Because I know you've told some West, different stories West in the past. West West and, and, uh, and you saw him kill her, is that correct? I didn't I I watched it and I wasn't watching it and I watched it again and I was like... When you first met Cindy, did you plan on kill, killing her or oh, having no, her no, killed no. or playing any part in her being killed? No way. You did not? Okay. That's part of the truth. Okay? You had no knowledge of what was going to happen or did you? No. Okay. And even if you did, and if it's too late or too far into it, if you did not actively participate as you described earlier, then it's still the truth and the same story. If something happened and it's out of your control, then it's out of your control. But you need to explain that. Should he say anything to you? Yeah, a couple times. And what was that? Uh, she used to call me slam. Slim, do something. I say, I think that's all. Right. Don't, uh, don't test him. I think that's all right. So, that what? Don't test him. Don't test him. Yeah. Have you ever tried to fight him yourself? Yeah, he was in kindergarten. And but how about now? Do you think you could take them? No. That's my problem, I guess, because I don't think I can take them. Okay. She tried to bargain with him, more or less. Kind of a, you know, please let me go, and then, you know, I don't know if it was trying to talk, but maybe she just had calmed down and just tried to talk to him. I don't know if she was trying to calm him down or not. What was his reaction? Was I guess it wasn't a time to calm him down. It was and then, she was, and then she started screaming again. She was talking calm though for a minute. Then she started screaming again. When he said, so what's the story? What did you tell him? I, I don't think I gave him a reply. I don't remember giving him a reply. When he asked you, or he told you, I'm not going going to prison, did he just say that, or did you ask him, well, why why'd you kill her? I guess he did. I didn't ask him that. I, he said it. He just said it. 
I'm not going to prison. Who the you told on me? My reply, I think, was to his, that you don't want to see me for a while, was, I wish I could turn the clock back. I said, I wish I could turn the clock back first. Turn the time back. What you described is a very horrendous nightmare in a lot of ways that you have lived through and saw and been experiencing ever since then. Okay, I understand that. Given the set of circumstances that happened and the fact that you and Wes have been friends for years, although you have not been seeing him lately because of just the way things are, but you guys did grow up together for quite a few years. Okay. You described him taking her out there against her will with her saying, take me back, him grabbing by the hair, forcing himself, raping her, and basically killing her, okay? His intention, it sounds to me, was to rape her and to kill her so that she wouldn't tell on him. Basically what you described. Do you know where Cindy is? Not sure. Do you have any idea... I've tried to come over. I can't. I don't. You grew up with him. You've been hunting up there. You've been archery hunted. You've been on foot all around there. There's some. There's some places that you and Lauren know more than anybody in this whole world. Me. You. You and Wes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm looking at you and I'm saying your name. There's some places that you guys know, and I know. I, I, I'm, I'm a hunter. I, I've been places where I say there's no way nobody's set foot in this spot right here. You can be the hero here. Well, I wish you give. I know that. I know that. But what I'd like to do. Close enough to where I could know that. Not a long time. What I'm saying is, there's some places that you and him have been hunting, hiking, and, and just fooling around. Mm -hmm. You know, really. I have so long. I don't know. Since all of this has happened, he has not indicated to you anything that would tell us where he placed that body. I thought he would. He did. Why wouldn't he? You saw everything. You know how crucial this is? I know. I know. I just, because if you... Yeah. I know, Mark. If I knew, man, we wouldn't have we'd be going. I thought it might have been on the property, but I guess that's for search, right? And, but there's, I know there's mines and stuff there that I don't know where they're at. I know I've, you know, heard of them. I mean, if I knew where there's certain mine shafts or whatever on, on that property, I would take it there. But I really shouldn't. I mean, I'm trying to, trying to think of something. Did Wes threaten? Um, did, did he threaten you? Are you telling me? Mm -hmm. No. Why did you lie before? Scared. Scared. Scared of what? Well, a few things. What are those things, Mark? One of the guys we're talking about. West Sherman time? Yep. You're scared of West Sherman time. And he's your friend. I consider we have been for a long time. That's why I guess I'm scared of him. Because just over the last way he is, where he turned, you know, he ain't saying the person of him, but as well as my friend. Are you scared because he's unpredictable? Yes, sir. What else were you scared of? What was the other one? I was more ashamed than scared the other way. Ashamed of what? He was scared of the other one. I think at one time you had mentioned being ashamed of what, Lauren? I mean, I'll do nothing. I'll be all safe. Do nothing for what? Same. 
be able to stop it? Yeah. Yet do it all over again, would you have stopped it? I'll try to figure out a better way. I'll try it. Did he tell you how he killed Chevy Wood? No. He just said he killed it? Um, yeah. Why would he tell you? I don't know why. Just because he, he you know, asked me what I was up, and I didn't know. I guess he just had to tell me because I didn't know. Did you have anything to do with him, with her? No, no. You didn't help him like you did with Cindy? No. Did he tell you he's killed anybody else? No. Oh, excuse me. Not, not named in particular. She was only one time. He killed 24 people or something. I don't think you want to go there, Lauren. I don't. I really, I really, and I understand why. But I think you have knowledge of some other homicides that he's done. And at some point in time, maybe not right now, you know, and I'm not going to push you. It may be very advantageous for you to spend a couple of hours out of your life to make sure that the truth comes out about the evilness inside of this guy. I probably one of the only people that really does. Well, I told him, you know, I told you, I just wanted to just, you know, stop him myself, you know. Wes is making comments about you. Yeah. Things such as, you know, if you Lauren and I have hunted just about everything, including the ultimate game. You know what that ultimate game is. There is no ultimate game for him. He's implicating you. What I foresee here is that when we haul Wes in here, he's going to pin it on you. No matter what he's holding over your head, it's going to come out. I didn't know for sure if you bought me. Yeah, I wanted to see you. I know you did, but I didn't. I didn't, want I didn't care. I was coming. I don't want to see you like this either, but you know. I know you told me that I had the DA told you guys that you had to, uh, that you had to be arrested and both charged of a murder. And I said, but, and I said, Wes is the one that did it. Lord did not do it. I said, why is the DA's office, you know, charging him with murder? He said, that, he said, that, 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 and he said that, and I said, well, Monday on the ring, and I said, the judge or the DA, are they going to change that murder, drop that? You know, no. just, what's, what's going on, you know? And he said, that is completely up to the DA's office. Well, I and know, I negotiate, know. Negotiations between the DA's office and your lawyer. I don't have one. I'm working on it. I thought they were supposed to give me a photo of the defendant. I've been talking to him about that too before. Okay. Did, did you tell him yesterday? I don't know, sir. I don't know. I know. You got about 10 more red hairs there all of a sudden, yeah. I know, he needs to be busted. I know he does, you know, I can just... I can't go off too. I can't tell you what I'm trying to do. I was for months, you know, I tried to go home and look at everything.
And you need <coughs> to keep striving over and striving to get me to help one of you. They're involved in you. Uh -uh. It's like, oh. I said, I come from the hey man, I just want to go my own way. I said, but he got to be in my day, he wants me to be in on it. He wants to be in on it. so you understand. Okay, so there's no confusion. I never understand, so... Okay, okay. You have a right to remain silent. Okay, you understand that one? That's kind of like what you're just explaining to me. Probably is that you're not... I mean, you have a right to not say nothing. Period. Okay. You can drink your soda and they say nothing whatsoever. Yeah, it more hurt me than anything. Will it hurt you? I don't know. Because, I don't, again, I don't know what you have to say. Okay. And the next one is anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. So that explains to you that everything we discuss here, okay, could be used against you in court. Okay. If it says can and will be used against you. It will be used against you. Can be used against you. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer, have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. So if you want to say, hey, I want a lawyer, you're not going to get one until Monday, until unless you can afford one to come in right now, but we're not going to talk to you. Okay. 
and let them, I mean, they won't talk to you at all. If you can afford to hire one, a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question if you wish. And that's, again, where if you can't afford one, then one's going to be given to you come Monday in regards to Cindy's case. Okay. And then if and when you guys decide to talk with us, you and your lawyer, then you can or you won't. One of those two things. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? But yes, no, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> don't, want to, don't want to drown you now. It's, it's got to help you to, to have people know that you care about, you know, what happened and, and that you're yeah. sorry and everything yeah. else. I'm not feeling Because, I mean, I don't want to be, and I really wish that I hadn't seen what I've seen. Well, not only because I've seen here, it's just, that's going to be on my mind for the rest of my life, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't set my life like you give me more thought to about uh, uh, what happened out on uh, Daggett Road? Not really. What can you tell me about that? I don't know what I just can tell you about <laughs> So he goes up to the driver's side and shoots. You know how many times? Then what happens? Not much after that. Okay. He, well, how many people are in a car? You said two, I think, right? I think there was. Probably should have made that I don't know. I mean, you, like I said, you're. Like I told you, I mean, we already know what happened. Okay. Now it's your version. I mean, are you happy about this? No way. Were you happy about it then? No. Let me ask you this. What kept you 12 years ago, I think? Is that what 13 years ago? Yeah. What kept you from going to the police at that point in time and saying, look, my friend's a psycho. Here's what he just did. The psycho himself. Because you're concerned, what, for your own safety? Oh, yeah. I understand that. Okay. Other people understand that too. Okay. That's kind of what I talked to you about before. That if people don't know what motivates you or what keeps you from doing things, they ain't never going to know. Because all they're going to hear about is from Wes's side saying, "This is what we did," and it ain't nothing about this is what just I did. It's what we did. My homeboy and me. See my picture of my homeboy. You know. Do we have to keep talking? Well, I'd like to. I know you don't want to, but... I don't. I already know. <laughs> well, that's your... I mean, that's your... Your choice. If you want to talk about that, we can, we can stop. Like I said, you know, after, I mean, once you go in tomorrow, whether or not we'll be able to talk about anything anymore, I don't know. And there's just like, like you and I know, there's other stuff to talk about. We mentioned it to you the other day, okay? And if it's something that you have knowledge on, like I said, I, 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 we won't go into all the details. We'll, you, know, you just give me a little bit, and I'll, I'll talk to the district attorney about it. About the uh, about the Indian that was shot. Look. You know nothing about that one? Actually, I don't know anything about anything. You don't know about anything else? As, 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 even the limited amount of time I've dealt with you? I can read that face. <laughs> it, I mean, okay. Is it you don't know anything else, you just don't want to talk about anything else? Don't want to talk. Okay. <clears throat> I remember. Yeah, we were there. Which one? The 
so we more than seeing you dude. You were there? What happened on that part? Boy, killed that guy. Why are you saying you did? I don't know. Okay. Tell me. So I can fit his story and your story. Who are we going to believe? Well, that group is... We come down the road and he seen some dude and they on the side of the road kind of like you know, out of his car or something. Or his or something. We turn around. And Wes robs him and, and kills him too. The dude was so drunk that the dude went and never known nothing. Anyways, but Wes, he had to kill that dude. Yeah, I don't know. It's just too much, man. Kill somebody for 45 bucks. No matter what, I hope you guys believe me because I mean he is like this, wow. and that's this type of person you're dealing with. He is like a, he's a cold blooded killer. Yes, sir. Has no emotions. You're a cold blooded killer, man. You guys can understand why I've been so scared of him so long. I understand. I've been scared of him. I told my wife that only one person in the world scared me. Time to lock his ass up, huh? Oh, he sure has to have been time a long time ago. Yeah. Wish it would have been done a long time ago. I don't want to my ass. I know. Like I told you before, it starts now. We're going to be putting him away. I want to see it. On death row? Honestly. You told me you needed my help to put him away. I know you did. You said trust him. Gotcha. Uh, out of everybody I'm trusting, you told me. I know that one. More than anybody. I think that girl's pretty cool. I'm trusting Joe too. Both of you guys. I don't trust you guys more than anybody. During September of 1985, Do you know of any girls or anyone that Wes Sherman Tyne had killed during that period of time? That must be the one. And how do you know that? Because I can't think of any other. Well, Mike, you, I can't is this an assumption? Are you just assuming he killed her, or were you there, or did he tell you about it? No, there was a girl he killed. And how do you know that? I, well, I was with him. That's what you need to tell me. Uh, or I'm trying. Okay. Uh, yeah, again, my details aren't very much. Give me yeah, what. You know. Give me what you can. I don't even remember how he picked her up or whatever. I just remember that he killed the girl. Seven to the death. I don't know where he left her. Did you try to stop it? Lauren, you need to talk. No. <coughs> did she ask you to help him? Did, did Wes ask you to help him take care of the body afterwards? No. What happened to the body? I don't know. First time that you saw Wesley Sherman Tyne kill anybody was which case? The Indian guy. What? The Indian guy. The Indian guy. That was the first. Yeah. And the last? Last time? Of course. Same better. Right. Okay. Earlier you told me about your brain being mush. <laughs> feels right? Like it yeah, it feels like it. But you know where you're at, right? I'm in jail. You're in jail, and you're at where? What office is this? It's the sheriff's office. All right, this is the sheriff's office. You're aware of that. You know what you're booked in for? For murder. For which case? Same bear All right. So you're aware of what's going on. Everything you've heard, all these, the other officers, stopping police officers and us, you understand what's going on here, is that correct? I say I believe so. Yes. Well, you say you believe. It's either yes or no. What don't you understand? Let me clear yes, that up. I understand. All right. The rights that they read you yeah. earlier, you understood those, right? Yeah. Because we read it to you over and over again every time we've made contact with you. Right. And you understand those completely, correct, Lauren? Yeah. Have I been fair to you? Yeah, I'm saying that. Yeah. Has Joe been fair to you? Has yeah. the sheriff's office been fair to you? Yeah. Stockton Police Department, have they been fair to you? No, no, no. Oh, I, my voice always gets a little bit high. All right. 
But I just want to make sure that we have to be fair to you. And uh, you know what? We have to be fair to Wes, too.